I think most of the journalists who uh, die every year are local journalists, and uh, uh, it's about uh, 50 to 75 journalists a year around the world working in their own countries often. Um, and I, I think you're under a misimpression that all journalists are embedded. There are situations, wartime situations, where the only way to get to a story is uh, to be uh, with an armed force. Like, for instance, in Raqqa today, the journalists who went in went in with Kurdish forces. But there are many journalists who operate independently outside of uh, embed situations. Um, and um, again, um, it, it is unusual for you know the Western journalists to be killed uh, these days. Usually, it's local journalists and freelance journalists who uh, bear the uh, the highest cost, uh, such as the woman in Malta last week, the investigative reporter whose car was blown up. So. Uh, and the only thing I would add to that is that journalism has to be supported. I mean, we can get all kinds of news and fake news on the, on the internet, but, but proper journalism, independent journalism, uh, it needs to be supported. And there are you know, so many uh, websites, so many uh, news organizations who ask directly, uh, increasingly asking for that support from their readers. You know, if you value the information, if you value the reporting that we do, then you need to support that by, you know, contributing by paying for it. And I think that, that in this in this world wide web internet age, increasingly people are going to have to pay for what they value.